Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 262. 7-Eleven. I don't know, that just sounds kind of funny. It's July 11th. We're past the holidays of the summer and we are now into it. We have a couple people in chat. Uh, Jacob and Bert are with us, which is awesome. If anybody else shows up, welcome to say hi. Uh, Bob's with me, as always. Things are going wonderful. We are recording this show for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. And I don't think this is going to be a very long meeting. I called it the show. This is not the show. The show is tomorrow. This is the online meeting. This is just where we do business of Wix. Uh, and that business of Wix today is we're just going to go do triage. Uh, there's not a lot of other stuff to talk about right now. So uh, without further ado, we'll do that. You guys in chat can think about any questions you want to ask about. But Bob, you ready to go jump over and do some triage? Let's jump. Yay. All right. Uh, we got a couple things cleared out, so we are now under a dozen issues to talk about. So we'll start, I think, the oldest one. Yep, yeah, this is the oldest one. Yeah. 7579, NetFX extension always produces a warning during the build. This is a bummer. Yeah, kind of funny. Hey, you shouldn't use these variables. No, not you. Us. Yeah. yeah. I remember having problems with this silly error message, warning message, trying to get it to not fire all the times. So... This thing's annoying. Yeah, um, I believe in the past this happened, this particular variant of the message happened at compilation time. Um, yeah, so uh, compile time switches are easy enough to apply during the extension build, but now it happens uh, at bind time. So these suspect variables show up during bind. Okay, yeah, we should fix this in five. It's really annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Although I, well, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm of two minds. The it was nice to get the compiler time warning. And yeah. I guess that you know. Yeah, this is just this overzealous error message that's been trying to push to perfection, and then it keeps catching all these other problems. This yeah. is an argument I had when we were putting it in. It's like we can be perfect and keep having problems with it. Um, so anyway, this thing is a challenge, but yeah, we should. It should not be happening. We should fix it in five. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, it it, it may just be. Let's just demote this back to a compiler and avoid the problems. But yeah, we'll see. Um, that was kind of my thinking. Yeah. All right. Seven five eight one whip. I don't want to go through the whips right now, but I'm glad they are here. This is the default feature, Wix 5 default feature that Bob discussed mm, two meetings ago, I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, I've not had a chance to read it. I want to read it. Um, anybody else that has interest in the way this is be developing should read it and leave comments on it as well. And we should talk about that. But yay, glad to see this. Um, need to spend more time looking at it. So yeah, this can go into five and Bob is working on it. Okay, and we're... I mean, that's it? I think that, so. That was, that's the extent of the whip review? Oh, well, I mean, I think we could do another whip review. I just don't want to do it in triage, if that makes sense. So let's um, add it. It does. Uh, but I guess, so, sorry, I, I, I'm asking, should we leave it on triage and take a look at it next meeting? Or do we want to, like, schedule, a, you know, a time during another, separate time during another meeting to review the whips? Let me step back. I don't necessarily. Uh, if you want to have an explicit review of the whip, we can definitely do that. We should schedule it in a meeting and do that. Not as part and not naturally as part of triage, I guess I would say. So we should not I'm, use triage I'm, to do yeah. the whip reviews. And if we want to review them, we should say, hey, I want to talk about this thing in detail. OK. Um, in general, all the whips that I've written have uh, considerations that are worthy of discussion. Yes, I saw. Sometimes important discussion. Yes, I, I saw. more than worthy. <laughs> yeah, I, and I haven't read them yet. <laughs> I went, oh, this isn't as easy. Okay, I have to think about this. I haven't right. thought about it yet. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, we can do that in the future. They do not need a triage label to remind us. Uh, I... No, you may need some other label to remind you. <laughs> you may need you may to put it somewhere else. For me, I would have to put it somewhere else to remember, um, given everything else that's flying around. Um, uh, but no, I, I don't think we need to 
triage it per se. I'm happy. Okay. For, I'm happy for it to start in triage and be like, "Hey, look, here's the whip. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. great." Anybody that wants to leave comments on it, good. And you can say, "Yeah," and we're going to schedule this for discussion in the future. Like, oh, great. Let's put it on the schedule then. Okay. Into a meeting kind of thing. That um, works. And that can even happen as you get into the feature and be like, "Oh, I need to talk about this thing." That can happen then too. Yeah. All right, uh, 7584, Wix should set MSI check CRS property. Oh, that's interesting. Apparently, you know now there is a property that you have to set if you have any of these file checksums set. It, that was just if a any. very odd discovery I made. Um, well, well, I have never this. seen that before. I could not tell you when it appeared. I don't think it existed before. It didn't because it wouldn't. It didn't exist in the beginning because it has MSI in the prefix, and they didn't start doing that until oh, yeah, four that's five. True. I think Wix for, uh, MSI four five. I think is when they started doing it. Interesting. Okay. So it probably appeared at that point in time. That'd be my guess. At maybe three. Either way, it wasn't in the beginning. Um, I don't disagree. So, although, if we do this, we might have a lot of installs now failing to repair with people setting all the checksum stuff, not realizing how it actually works. Right. And then when it suddenly starts working, I'll be like, wait, my installs don't work right. And we're like, yeah, you never really wanted checksum, did you? There really is no value in setting checksum because I don't think the compiler set it correct anymore when they build XEs. But anyway. Oh, you mean in the PE? Yeah. Somewhere... I. This needs more research. Somewhere I thought the compilers these days just zeroed out the check something because it, it uh, well, it's the whole reproducible the, build problem, right? Right. Not only that, but then also signing and things like that, and yada yada yada. Um, so yeah, um, okay. Is this up for grabs, or were you interested? In it? I'm not interested in it. I'm not really okay. interested in it because of the other points you mentioned yeah all right so yeah uh uh cool fine bob <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> next um seven five eight five consider more ref suffixes ah, okay uh again uh, we're back to this debate again <laughs> yeah so this came about from writing a certain tutorial that i'm working on uh -huh. um i remember explicitly during wix4 we made changes like binary key and file key in the custom a custom action element, yep. um, where key makes perfect sense when you're referring to a primary key, um, makes less sense when you're talking about an ID. Um, in three, those were the same thing. Four, they're slightly different. So we went binary ref, file ref. Um, another obvious one is the directory attribute on a component that is a ref um, should refs should references uh, should ah, references in attributes consistently use ref as a suffix mm -hmm. is that a level of consistency that's too absurd or just absurd enough yeah, um, I, I've, I've I, gone I, back and forth on this one just yeah, myself. Yeah, so have I. It, so have I. It's more like do a survey of developers and see what they think. Because I, I don't really know. I don't know what the right answer is. I'm curious for the for Jacob and Bert who are in chat. What do you guys think? The, I think this is this the canonical example here is actually pretty good. Component directory. Right now that. Uh, is a you put an ID of a directory in there and it creates a reference over to a directory. Would it be better if that attribute was called on component was called directory ref or is directory a good thing? I'm just curious what you guys would vote uh, being the peanut gallery that we have at the moment. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the, you know, how you might read it in authoring, directory is perfectly fine, right? It's, it, it clearly communicates what's happening. Mm -hmm. You need it, the theory. I think is that ref provides extra clarity that this is a reference, right? Yep. There, there's another example. Um, 
Is it shortcut? I, it might be shortcut is the one that because shortcuts essentially have two different um, two different directories, right? Yeah. yeah. And you go, uh, hmm. yeah. So lost priest point is exactly what I I wondered if that was true. Said I would prefer ref speaking of someone new to Wix in general. Yeah, yeah I wonder if ref is more is clearer. It makes it very clear that you're supposed to put an ID here, not a path. For example, right, right. Well, because you know, in other where yes, uh, Jacob, exactly, Jacob. Elsewhere in the XML world, they have. You'll see things like ref ID, um, and we actually have that in the the schemas for Wix. Uh, so where they have references, they actually call it. They call it out, mm. not as a suffix, but yeah, as a prefix. Yeah. I'm curious what Jacob and Bert think. Jacob's been doing Wix long enough. I'm curious where he lands on this thought process. Lost Priest being new to Wix, self-declared new to Wix. Doesn't surprise me that the ref would be clearer. I, it's the it's been a long debate that I've been like, uh, uh. it's harder to talk about, but it, it it's it more clearly communicates the intent. What would be your preference, Jacob? That's what I'm actually interested in. You'd be fine with adding the ref, but what do you think would be the best from your point of view? What I have now, so the code doesn't have to change is <laughs> probably yeah. the answer. But I mean, we would have we would do something. We would have box compatibility for quite a while if we did this because this would be pretty agreed, pretty disruptive for quite a while. Um, well, I'm actually curious about that. So what I didn't actually put in the in the issue is what other instances of this are there component directory was an obvious one and component you know, group a good directory. one component group directory so you're gonna get a lot of the directory ones right uh properties even then, maybe i'd have to go through the ui ui probably has a bunch that's fair yeah like dialogue and control you'd end up with all these refs um but I haven't been in the UI in quite a while. Um, custom actions have theirs, but I think, but I think we cleaned that's... up all the ones mm, already. The I custom see. actions. Gotcha. Um, although you could argue, we should strongly well, type the custom actions, and that would make that just better in general. Um, in general, yes. Um, the sequencing. Oh. That's actually more interesting, right? Because in in mm. install execute sequence, how do you refer to a custom action? The custom element is, with yeah, an action. action on it yes attribute that's like i've never ever 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 liked that um what would you do instead <laughs> custom, action, um, custom action ref, ref custom action ref, ref id equals yeah. but then you get the yeah so that yeah that one's old enough that it comes from the time when we were trying when we did not add additional information to the refs uh that that rule has broken down over time. So I guess you could add additional data to a custom action ref then. Well, right now, custom action ref is... Oh, that's the one that can float. Yeah, it's, yes. it's a, yeah, it's a, it, it's a fragment ref. Yeah. Um, and probably patching. Here I am trying to fill this time and get Jacob's opinion on custom action or a component <laughs> directory ref. And he's like, I'm fine. I'm like, no, no, how do you really feel? Not just fine, can... like... You know, if you have to vote one way or the other, it's like, yes, you should do that. Or no, it makes the language look wrong or something. I don't, I don't know. It, 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 and Bert, it too. Bert's out there. The I assume, unless Bert dropped off and he's, I don't know. It says we only have two people watching right now. So maybe we've lost everybody. Maybe that's actually what's happened. It's not a huge deal one way or another, but if adding ref makes it clearer for. But if adding ref makes it clearer for new users, then probably I think he needs adding ref. <laughs> I love it. But if I'll it adds, then I'll and he's just good. leaving me hanging. Jacob's just like messing with me here now. <laughs> and all these sentence fragments and stuff. I'm like <laughs> implied. You're things. expecting a bit from chat. I I oh yeah, I know. It's especially with the like delay. A five, no, two hundred character limit as well. Well, pff, I'm not asking for two hundred characters. <laughs> 
I'm asking for component slash at directory ref is a good idea. Then why not make it easier for them, right? Well, that's the that's the real question. Is it clear or not? I, I it probably is. It's I, probably clear, but it does clutter the language. To be clear, yeah, yeah. You know, but how much? Else? But how much? That's another thing too. A, a very little bit. Yeah, a very little bit. This, this, <laughs> um, this is like Latin, you know, where mm. you have extra. Um, there's, there's an extra structure, and it turns out, you know, once you get downstream of Latin, you don't need all those moods. Yep. Yep. You know what? I, I um, can we fly? I need to get this done. Let me, let me, I'm going to bring up my little notepad over here and I can track this. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I've lost my to do list here. Um, that's horrible. Well, yes. Um, I, I've been thinking about. Um... Ha, I like that. I like that. Yes. And that was, as we were talking about before in Wix 3, the the attribute they use to refer to the foreign key of the binary table from custom action was binary key. Um uh yeah but they weren't they weren't consistent about the 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 wix no, one no. The, the msi one is at, actually that one's an outlier because the correct way to do it was with the underscore trailing underscore that's the, the well, correct way to do it inside msi syntax yeah um, but that's horrible i, I, I look a language coming so. from a oh from a language no we couldn't do that it's like yeah the the, the, the correct answer is component slash at direct there is a directory underscore equals <laughs> <laughs> that would That'll be a teach terrible you. thing language. Um, all right. So what I'm writing down here is I've been thinking about putting together a survey um, for the world and actually getting this to be more of a, a a thing as part from Wix to go out and ask people a bunch of questions about, hey, Here's here's things we're doing in Wix. Can you please vote on these things? Uh, knowing that you know, here's you know, user out there like, yeah, we'll just see what people are thinking. And I and I've just added to add this question to that survey ID. Cool. Because I think that's really the question. Because I'm curious how many people feel similar to Lost Priest that it would be clearer to someone getting started that directory ref is the easiest way to understand, and then also agree with Jacob that. Uh, I understand it, but I've been doing this forever. So if it's clear for them, that's fine. I'm, I'd like to, I, I wonder if that's the general sentiment of the world. So I'm, I'm, this has been on my idea list for a while. So I will, I have added it to my, my to-do list to add this question to the set of questions I've been slowly collecting for said survey. So that so, means I should assign this issue to you? <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's probably a good way to do it. Okay. You can put it in five because we'll do that. Okay. And we don't need to leave it charged. I don't know what to do with it, but yeah. I don't know what what area to put it in, but yeah. All right. Oh, well, that's interesting. It's been a thing that's kicked around a few times, and Bob decided to stir it all up right now. All right. Seven, five, eight, eight. Another whip with more things to talk about. The end of it. Yes. This also has some interesting things to talk about. Uh. So yeah. Same thing. This is the default root directory for uh, Wix, basically automatically set install folder or whatever the name of it should be. It looks like Bob's trying to pick um, install folder. So we should uh, kind of look at that. And if you have thoughts and opinions and things like that, uh, uh, leave them here. Did you want to get this one in the schedule too? If so, just drop me a thing so I can put it to the agenda in the future. Um, uh, that's actually a good point. Uh, we, yeah, we should, yeah, we should figure that out. Yes. Talk okay. Yes. <laughs> I don't mean, all right. Uh, following up on the last one. Yeah. From a standards point of view, I think it's straightforward. A good point. Yeah. The main question is the amount of developer overhead to handle the changes. I'm less worried about the overhead. We've got no okay being able to move the language around, especially on these sorts of things, um, as we want to. Yeah. We could also keep it, you know, keep both variants acceptable yeah, yeah. for yeah. end versions. I mean, exactly. there's no, Right. Yeah, you know, we can deprecate at our at our leisure. Yeah, it, it's not a, it's an example of hey, we think this is better. Let's go this direction. But we definitely would be nudging people in a direction in time, 
Yeah, yeah. Um, because we don't want to maintain both forever. We don't want to say either is a, is available. It's like, no, really, we think this is the way to go, but we know a lot of you have things to bring forward. We, we can do all of that. We've been a little bit more direct with other things, like the binary key and file ref, where we're like, no, this this is this file key is just bad. So we just fix it or you know, force it through a conversion. But this bigger one, we could do a little bit softer in the upgrades. So, all right, we have dials there depending on the the lanes we want to do. So it's all good point loss priest. We'll 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 get somewhere with it. All right. Uh that was 758. 7590. Culture specific target path pre-process variable no longer works in Wix 4. Hmm, that's interesting. Looks like it should. You mean when you looked at the code? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. All right. Well cool. Someone should look at that. I don't know. Do I really want to look I don't know. Let's leave this up for grabs for now. See if anybody gets excited about it. Um, okay. Unless you want it. I do not. Yeah. You, you didn't send a lot of things out there. Uh, excitement there. So anyway. All right. Uh, 7593. Register fonts. Action is not added to install. Execute sequence of fonts are being installed in the fonts folder. This is bad. We should get this fixed. So yep. if you don't want to take it off my hands, Bob, I will take it. So. No. You're the one who broke it. So I, I am. I'll take it. It's fine. I'm a little behind on getting things done. So I had to work through that. Too many things. All right. 7598. Mismatch between file ID, behavior, and documentation. Oh, the oh the ID of the file element was not updated to say that it oh, still says file. Okay, so the documentation is wrong. This is a doc bug. It should get fixed. The ID will be generated for you in a way that uh, is less likely to collide than it did in four and three. I don't know if it's perfect. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better. It is a lot better. Well, yeah, I will take this one because I noticed um, there is the component ID still does the defaulting logic. It's the file ID that is now explicitly set. Correct. The component ID is defaulted to the key path. And the file is generated for you in a way that minim hopefully minimizes collisions as much as possible. Yeah, it should. It should. All right. Well, that's a doc bug. Doc is behind. The current behavior in the file ID is, is what we expect. And the doc is uh, not quite up to date. Um, uh, the level error messages do refer to level attribute instead of... Who wrote that? Uh, <laughs> level error messages refer to level attribute instead of value attribute. Oh, this is the error messages. Yes, okay. Yes, I have this uh, PR out for this fix. So I just need to do that. It's it's just a mistake. The, the, the error message says... The level attribute is wrong when that's the name of the element. It's like, no, no, it should have been the value attribute. So it's a very simple fix. Um, so I already have this. We can put this in five and we'll go on and the error message will make more sense in the near future when that gets pulled. Cool. Any reason you, oh, any reason you didn't just submit the pull request? I did submit the pull request. Sorry, merge the pull request? Because I didn't look at the result of the build. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a reason. Okay. Yeah, I think I did this, and then I ran off to uh, whatever we we're doing on the weekend. I was just like, "Oh, that's lame," and then I went yes. it. Um, seven six zero five. Another whip. Default major upgrade. All right, this is a great thing to discuss, and it has more considerations. So, Bob, or do we like have to have like four meetings to go over all your whips? Is that <laughs> what I'm seeing? Well, so like, far there's only three whips, so I don't think we need four meetings. I see one next. <laughs> there's one after this too. No, no, that's not a, oh, that's mm. not technically a whip. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> technically. Um, yeah, so th this one, this whip went through, well, caused some brain whiplash. Um, because at first I'm like, uh, I don't know that whole localized error message thing. But it turns out that's really easy because we can just, ship a file, 
it can live next to Wix.exe. Wix, it, it's it, it's like the the having the built-in um, MS Build response file. It's just if it's there, we'll use it, like directory.props. Mm. Um, I did, however, get more concerned about uh, the implications of automatically adding major upgrade support. We would be closing the possibility of implementing the bad idea of not having upgrades. Mm. Mm -hmm. Theoretically. Anyway, this mm -hmm. one was, I, I thought it would be the localization that was problematic, but I think really it's the actual okay. upgrade behavior that's problematic. So this one I definitely would like. Yeah, we uh, should talk about that. To discuss, yeah. Because that might dovetail. Uh, let it, oh, you're right, this doesn't have a whip on it. Uh, that might dovetail in with another thought I've had of being able to set an attribute to control your upgrade behavior. Um which basically you could say, I want to do major upgrades or I want to do minor upgrades. And that then right. dials the way that your product ID changes. Right. Um, so those features may have to go together for that to be implemented then. Mm, yeah. Or maybe that attribute is actually the way you do default major upgrade. Ah, okay. Yeah, we should talk about it. I, ha I have, right. again, I saw enough of stuff and then went, oh, I should read all this. And then I was like, no, I'm, I do not have seconds for that right now. So yep. uh, yeah, we could have some good, good discussions on the things Bob's already brought up. All right, good stuff. All right. Yep. We will talk about that. You're right. This cool. did not have whip on it. I was imagining things. Yeah. I only have a vague hand wavy suggestion as to how we fix it in five. And that it's is. not a feature. So that's not very you know fun what? to write about. 7605? 7607. Or, I haven't even got there yet. Okay. 7607. Uh, Windows decompile context. Treat product as module is is not just Borked, it, it simply does not work. <laughs> I thought Borked kind of communicated that idea. <laughs> it, it, yeah, this is the right point. It is so broken, in fact, that it's been broken since Wix 3 in 2008. So yeah, anyway, probably nobody even knows what this thing is. Uh, we only know about it because of a customer that uh, has a very low level need for this that we've been helping them with at Fire Giant. And we've been untangling all this and so Bob, has been untangling it and opened this issue. Uh, for most people, this makes no sense and doesn't matter at all. Um, and yeah, so uh, the end result is the ability to decompile but keep module GUIDs around or to appropriately have them removed. Basically control whether the GUIDs are removed from the decompile syntax or not. Um, it's not a normal kind of scenario that anybody would ever want. You should just take the defaults and everything works. Right. And the defaults do work. It's this very special case where someone wanted to keep the module goods on when they're not building, when they're decompiling a merge module, keep the goods on. And it's just a weird, strange thing. Um, anyway, and this property doesn't do what it says. Nope. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't do at all what it says. So it the proposal the is to to uh, fix it in five when we can put the appropriate name on it. Um, so we should do that in five because the current name is totally busted. We'll lead you down the wrong path. And only if you know the deep, dark internals of everything. Uh, from 2008. From 2008, would you be able to figure out how to use this? And although honestly, if you're using this, you probably had to go read the code to figure out how it was supposed to kind of be working anyway. Uh, so renaming it would just help, honestly, us in the future not get this confused again is really what it comes down to. Yep. So um, there you go. Fun, random nonsense from deep inside Wix that nobody cares about. If you really do care about it, well, we could talk about it, but it's not that interesting to most people. So we won't spend everybody's time here. If you care uh, about it, I've probably already been talking to you. <laughs> that's true. And one big F5 and we're done. I like it. So that was triage. Uh, next thing, things people want to talk about, stuff going on. Ron, so glad you make it. No problem being late. Um, will Jacob was pay. on time for you, I think is actually the way this worked. That's what it was. <laughs> Jacob showed up on time. Ron can show up with a late. Our quorum is still met. Our quota of cool people is here. And um, 
uh, we're at the end of the sh of the meeting. If there's anything else people want to talk about, I kind of fill space here. Um, I forgot to put this on my calendar, so it snuck up on me. Um, I didn't even think about the Wix Online meeting until I think Bob mentioned something yesterday, saying, so I'm going to be doing this Wix Online meeting. I was like, oh, is there one of those tomorrow? I didn't say that out loud. But then I went and looked and went, no. And then I went back two weeks and said, oh, yes. So... Looking forward, I think that would put us on the 25th. Does that put us halfway to Christmas? No, that's not halfway to Christmas. We're, we're halfway, halfway to Christmas, Christmas was, yeah, that's five months to Christmas. Yes. 25th is my mom's birthday. Yay. Um, so I think we'll do the meeting on that day. Um, we will not be celebrating her birthday on a Tuesday anyway. So that's all good. Um... Anything else? I'm kind of fill in space. Uh, those issues went well. We're going to have to add some whips. So next meeting might go a little bit longer than this one. This one correct. Ron asked, where did you start? Where did you start? Jacob and Ron asked me like questions that I, I don't know how to parse. <laughs> where did you start? Um, I don't know. Where did we start? We start at the beginning? The usual intro. I'm I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. Oh, going to Christmas. Where did you start going to Christmas? I'm still confused. All right, we are definitely off the deep end. Two weeks from now makes sense. Yes. Nine. That's the normal. Yep. All right. I'm just making sure everybody's like, yeah, that sounds right. No. We're in the summer. It's not like anything's like happening. People are on vacations. People are here. Maybe that's where everybody's at. They're all on vacations having a wonderful time. If so, it's great. Uh, Lost Priest, welcome. Thank you for your input, your insight as a newer uh, developer uh, to Wix, using Wix. The I'm, I think it's cemented my idea that we will add a survey. Where do you start going to Chris? Halfway to Chris. Well, yeah. So if I start at the beginning of the year. Long story short, I always thought my mom's birthday was halfway to Christmas for the longest time, not having really thought oh. about it deeply. So <laughs> it's just one of those things. I was like, oh, it's always, that's kind of cool, birthday being halfway to Christmas. But I never said it out loud, so nobody corrected me for a very long time. And so it's just kind of baked into my brain from being a little kid all the way up to this point, <laughs> even though you're, you're, you know, you're only five months from Christmas. You're closer to Christmas than that. Anyway, um, strange, quirky things. Like... My problems with dates started a long, long time ago. There you go. That's, yep. <laughs> Bob's just used to this. I mean, there's a there's something here. But he's like, yeah, we're going to start the meeting at 1240. I'm like, no, that's like three hours from now, dude. Yeah. And you can hear his visible well, frustration, <laughs> his visible, his audio frustration with the forcing him to the fire giant standard time out here on the Pacific Northwest. So I would just expect that you would be able to do simple math, but, <laughs> but when, yeah. it, when it involves time zones or or, or dates that it's very dangerous not, it's very yeah. dangerous it is it is it is my kryptonite it's probably the thing never, i am never assume I am, I am it i just know now like i am hypersensitive to it now it doesn't fix it it just means i know to be afraid of it yeah, um, yeah. and well, to get other people to double check my math is really what it comes down to knowing is half the battle which is why i always make sure to say out loud the next meeting is two weeks from now which would be july 25th and that gives everybody an opportunity, particularly Bob, to go, uh, no, that would be a different day. And they'd be like, oh, you're right. That is not the 25th. Anyway, but it is the 25th. We'll be back in two weeks. Uh, we'll do more triage if more things pop up. And uh, it sounds like Bob might bring one or two of his whips, depending on how things go. Maybe just one at a time. Sounds like some of them might be pretty meaty to talk about. And uh, we will do uh, this and a little bit more again. All right. So uh, Deployment Dojo show tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be digging deep, 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 deep into secure custom properties. So if that is at all interesting to you or um, if you don't know what that means, eh, it should be an interesting show. I, I hope I figure out what's going on because the last one I was kind of like, ah, this behavior of a window installer is not what I expected. And that doesn't happen to me very often. So that's tomorrow, 1230, Fire Giant Standard Time. That's Pacific Time for those of you that aren't at Fire Giant. And... Uh, yeah. We'll be back here in two weeks to do all this stuff again. So two weeks, 930. We'll see all you guys later. Bye. Bye.